This will be an unboxing of the iPhone XR or the iPhone XR, whatever you want to call this phone. So you can see I have two of them, the red one and the blue one. So let's to the summer of love. Just get into it. Gonna start the red one first since that's the color that caught my attention. Now looking at the box, you have this red wallpaper here. You can see the red border of the phone. You get the red iPhone logo here on the bottom. Red iPhone, red iPhone Apple logo right there. So you can see. So let's just get into it. Take this off and inside you have this designed by Apple in California. And on the product red one, you do have this product red little card. And pause the video and read that if you want to. Hello, all this stuff, SIM injector tool. And of course, you do have your Apple decals that you can put on your friend's Pixel 3 XL or Galaxy Note 9. Put that to the side, and this is the phone itself. Look at that. Woo! Look at that red, man. It's a nice cherry red. I love it, man. I love the color. I don't know if I like the phone, but I do like the color. I'll be honest, color is dope. Turn this on. Okay, put that to the side. And inside you have your slow ass charger and your headphones and your lightning cable, as you can see. Now I gotta say though, Apple, just include the fast charger in the box, man. I mean, come on. I mean, this phone you're calling it the budget iPhone, it's not even really a budget phone. It's like 750 bucks plus tax, so you're looking at over 800 for the base model, 64 gigs. It's like, come on, man. Include a fast charger in the box. It's like, I don't know, just include a fast charger. Now, trying to look at this in a positive way, this is a small charger, so it's not gonna take up that much space. It's not gonna charge the phone as fast, so less heat, I suppose, but I don't know, man. Include a fast charger. Anyway, Enough of that little rant. Let's see what else is in here. I think that's it, right? Okay. Put that to the side. I'm going to go ahead and open this blue one. Here's two colors side by side. Now this blue, I'm looking at it right now. It's a little bit of a lighter blue. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker than this. So this is more of a baby blue. Okay baby blue-ish kind of color comparing the two colors. They also have a matching border. Anodized kind of look here on the red one. Same thing with the blue. So take a look at that. I don't want to, well, maybe too late now. There's probably a Verizon SIM in here. I don't want to activate this phone on my carrier because I don't want to do that right now. So let me take the SIM card out. Give me a second. Aha, see, look at this. So Verizon SIM in here, take that off and put this back in. I don't want to activate this phone right now. It's the United States. Quick start, set up manually. Okay, let me look for my Wi-Fi network. I don't see it on here. Oh, here it is. In the bottom, enter my password. Next. Okay, it may take a few minutes to activate this phone. So, all right, let it do its thing for a second. Since this is an LCD display, you do have a little bit of a fatter bezel around the screen here. Now looking at, looking at this in person right now, this bezel is substantially thicker than like your iPhone XS Max or iPhone X or XS. And that's because this is an LCD, they can't get as close to the edges. Okay, continue. Face ID, set this up later. Create a passcode, passcode options. Don't use the passcode for now. Set up this new iPhone. Don't have an Apple ID right now. Set up later in settings. Don't use, I'm gonna set that up later. Just wanna get into the phone real quick, agree. Continue, install updates manually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not now on this. Siri, set up later in settings. Don't care about that. Set up later in settings. App analytics, don't share. Hell no. Continue, display zoom. Choose standard on this. Next, go home. But yeah, this is the tutorial of the swipe gestures, etc. I already know how to use this, so continue. Switch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, continue. Swipe up to get started. And we are in viewing angles. Let's take a look at the viewing angles. There you go. Take a look at that for yourself. What about like this? 
There you go. Viewing angles. On the bottom, your lightning port, speaker grills, your SIM slots right here, power button, and then the top is clean on this phone. And then here you have your volume buttons and your alert slider. There you go. On top, you do have the notch, just like every new iPhone nowadays. Houses all your Face ID stuff, etc. Flash in the back, single camera on this model. So let's compare this to the iPhone 10 from last year. Size comparison. iPhone 10 a little bit smaller all around. The 10 does have the dual camera setup in the back. And then from the front, let's compare the screens. Oops, I have a black wallpaper here. Let me, um, there we go. You can compare the bezel size. A little bit slimmer on the iPhone 10, which is an OLED display. And this is the, what is this? Let me jack down the brightness. See a little bit better. Put that to the side and then here's, this is the max right here. So do it this way. Max is the larger device overall. Dual camera setup on the 10s Max. And then from the front again, let me turn on the display on the on this one so you can compare the uh, bezels a little bit slimmer on the 10s max comparing the sizes of all three the 10r falls right in between there you go put the two 10rs here 10s max which is the biggest phone you have the 10R in the middle, iPhone 10, and the iPhone 10S, same phone, size-wise. So there you go. Size comparison between all four. So let me know in the comments below what you want me to do with the 10R. Speed tests, camera tests, durability tests, etc. Versus the Pixel 3 XL, Galaxy Note 9, OnePlus 6, and the upcoming OnePlus 6T, Razer Phone 2, etc. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.